What's going on guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day as always. Today we're going to be doing an update video on our indoor low-tech setup we uh, kind of set up and worked on last week on livestream. So it's been about a week and we've done exactly one water change on all of these. We're going to be going through them and kind of seeing how the plants have grown and what they're looking like. So here's our first one full of, these are juvenile purple mosaic dragon guppies that are just aging up. Uh, they still need to be sorted. And then of course the plant is Rotala rotundifolia. We can see it is more green than red without the super high lighting. I only use a light for these tanks when I'm filming. These are by a window, so that is their normal uh, light source. Our next tank up is full of a uh, blue koi strain I'm working on, and then the plants are Alternanthera and Hornwort. Pretty simple with this. Hornwort does not actually root, but its uh, strands will kind of anchor it to the ground if you push it in. So you can you, you can kind of anchor it to the ground and to the substrate, but it won't um, truly root. It is a floating plant. Of course, the alternate there will root. But yeah, so if you want a nice vertical look, you can plant it like this. We can see there's a little bit of cloudiness in the water, so we'll go ahead and do another water change soon. Uh, most of these tanks only have a couple shrimp in there as a cleaner crew and some snails. So I think one or two of these tanks have quarries in them, but most of them do not. These are five gallons we're looking at. Our next tank we're looking at here is the pearlweed carpet tank we're working on. As you can see from the live stream, the gaps in between where we put the bunches in have started to fill in. You can still see uh, you know, where I initially put the bunches, but you can see the new growth coming up and out as well. So that is in need of a cut, a prune here soon to go ahead and start shaping it uh, the way we want to shape it. So that will probably get done in the next week or so. I may make a video or stream that as well. So look for that in the future if you're interested in seeing this get uh, kind of worked with aquascaped. This is our Taiwan Lily tank full of uh, mainly just Taiwan lily snails and this is a red tiger strain I'm working on. The previous fish, I don't think I mentioned it, was actually uh, the silver blue Vienna I'm working on as well. So this is the red tigers I'm working with and Taiwan lilies. Got some nice growth in this tank, a couple inches which is always good. It means the plants that are starting to root and can now spend and absorb those nutrients on new growth. Last but definitely not least, we have our Java Moss Higer Tank. This one is running a filter, but is not running anything else. I'm just running the filter uh, just because it looks nice, honestly. Um, 
Job of Moss is doing excellent in it. The guppies are a or an albino female uh, red lace guppy. It's our last female. Unfortunately, that's the last one we have of them. And then I just put this beautiful full red albino male in here to hopefully breed them out to see what we get but this male looks stunning and this is a proven breeding female that's dropped before so i thought it was worth a shot to continue these and they seem they just got put together literally a few moments ago before i turned on the camera so this is kind of their first interactions and I managed to get those on camera and it turned out pretty cool. So let's go ahead and look at that to wrap up the video. You can see the bubbles on the glass in this tank. That's actually the oxygenation uh, or oxygen the Java Moss is producing. It kind of gets caught on the slanted glass. And it makes a shimmering effect. <laughs> 